Welcome to the press briefing. On stage, we have Dr. Zhang Chok Kwan, head of Communicable Disease Branch of Center for Health Protection, and Dr. Larry Lee, Hospital Authority Chief Manager. The doctors will give us an update of uh, the epidemic and also the situation with AK. Good afternoon. We have 1,034 reported cases yesterday. We had uh, 1,387 uh, PCR positive cases and also 2,647 RAT positive cases. We have uh, 231 imported cases, 195 uh, by PCR and 36 by RAT positive. Number of deaths, we've got seven, six passed away in a hospital authority, hospitals, and one at home. In the fifth wave, we have a total of 9,248 death cases. For those who passed away at home, uh, is a 94-year-old elderly person with two shots of uh, Sinovax. The last uh, was uh, injected in June. Uh, the case uh, lived with family in Saikong. Uh, the case had uh, dementia and asthma on a prolonged medication and uh, receiving regular follow-up. Uh, the case uh, required care by family members and was in poor health already. On the 6th of July, family members, uh, some family members were uh, positive, and on the 7th of July, the case uh, was RAT positive. Uh, the case planned to seek medical attention uh, at designated clinic on the 8th of July, and then he uh, fainted at home and then subsequently died. And according uh, to our um, forensic uh, analysis, it uh, was probably related to uh, other cases. HA, we have 1,025 cases hospitalized, 168 being new cases. For those in isolation facilities, 292 uh, in isolation ward 25 in uh, tier 2 uh, wards and 415 receiving treatment at uh, Nantau Hospital ICC 150, 32 of them are new cases. 10, new ca 10 cases were reported critical. Three had uh, three, two had three jabs, uh, one had two and four had one and uh, two no vaccination records, seven in serious conditions. For those hospitalized and confirmed, 26 of them are critical, 22 serious. Five of the critical uh, patients are being cared uh, for in ICU. Four uh, new cases of uh, death were reported. One is a 63-year-old male and a 96-year-old female. Uh, they passed away in the early mornings, uh, early hours of uh, the day before. And one male and one female passed away yesterday, aged between 89 and 91. None of them came from a care home. Among the four, two had uh, two jobs, one with three, and one no vaccination record. HA today also received uh, two cases from public more of uh, Department of Health, a 93-year-old female and 64-year-old man. One passed away on the 11th and the other on the 13th of July. No, rather, they both uh, fainted at home on the two dates, and they were uh, sent to any Department of uh, Characters uh, Medical Center and Conwasper, respectively. And then they passed away uh, at any department in spite of a resuscitation. And then uh, they were tested positive at public mall. They were uh, COVID positive. For uh, the four deaths, who passed away yesterday and also the night before. I've got some details. First, it's a 96-year film with no vaccination record, with a hypertension, asthma, and coronary heart disease. Uh, on the 11th of July, she was admitted to a &E, Department of QEH. She was a close contact. Her daughter was uh, RAT positive. The reason for admission was back pain and also a difficult 
empty in urination. When uh, she got better in hospital, she was sent to uh, New Atlanta Hosp North Atlanta Hospital ICC on the 15th of July. He was treated at ICC NLH, and uh, she had uh, shortness of breath. Uh, she was given a uh, uh, red Radosphere and also a steroid and also oxygen. She continued uh, to deteriorate and uh, she passed away on the 21st of July. Another 63 year old female with two shots of vaccine with hypertension and also diabetes, also a, a terminal uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, she was hospitalized uh, through any department uh, because uh, she was um, uh, passing out blood. She was RAT positive as well as PCR positive. The CT value was lower than 20. She was hospitalized, and then uh, we gave him uh, antiviral medication. But then her condition, her cancer condition in particular, um, um, worsened her uh, breathing situation, and she passed away on the 21st. And then an 89-year-old male with three shots of vaccine of kidney uh, failure and also a uh, hemorrhoid uh, at uh, stomach. On the 7th of July, uh, he tested positive. Both our CT and PCO uh, consulted a designated Clinic on the 10th with antiviral prescribed on the 17th of July. Uh, he attended the ANA Department of Nethersol Hospital and x ray showed that he had pneumonia. RCT uh, was positive, a CT value of less than 20. He was uh, admitted by this condition, continued to deteriorate, and he passed away on the 21st of July in the morning. A 91 year old female with two shots of vaccine suffering from hypertension, coronary heart disease, and uh, poor renal function. On the 3rd of July, uh, she was admitted uh, through a &E department of QEH. Uh, there was a weakness on her left side, on her right side, and then she had a slurred speech. On a mission, uh, he was found to be suffer from ischemic stroke and then she was transferred to the Buddhist hospital uh, for care on the 8th of July. On the 16th, she was PCR positive with a CT value of 34. Uh, she was uh, prescribed antiviral medication. And then on the 21st, uh, her blood pressure was found to be very high and uh, she became confused. And then she was transferred back to QEH for another scan. And uh, there was um, hemorrhage in her brain. And then uh, she passed away uh, at around 7 a.m. on the um, next day. We have uh, 231 imported cases, 104 picked up at the airport, 98 at quarantine hotels, and 29 of cases who have already left uh, quarantine hotels. These uh, 231 cases uh, were, were from uh, t 25 uh, places. With, with those with more than 10 cases, UK uh, 15, Singapore 14, US 13, Thai Thailand 13, German 12, uh, Philippines 11. Another 46 uh, places uh, were accountable for less than fewer than 10 cases each. We have two uh, residential homes uh, reporting c cases, and we need to quarantine some close contacts. Uh, this includes Chak Kwan, residential care hall, uh, one female con confirmed positive. So the, uh, the other residents, uh, three residents, have to be quarantined for Yan Oi. Uh, RCHE, there were two cases, and uh, another 12 residents have to be quarantined. This is today's uh, school holiday, but yesterday, uh, three schools uh, were advised to suspend classes for a week for Wayan, Kowloon Wayan College. In the past two days, that there were three cases. Yesterday, we well, give an advice in respect of a class of 27. Three cases out of 27, uh, six, and the, the class will be suspended for one week. Uh, Tonghua Group's Hospital 
Another class 4B, three cases among 26 students. Class will be suspended for a week. K check. K2. Uh, two cases in a class of 18. Again, uh, the, the class will be suspended for one week for a variant uh, of COVID. We are monitoring the trend. Uh, th there's a rising trend. B8.2.12.1 accounts for 2.5%. B8.4, B8.5, 1.4%. That's all for me for today's report. Uh, for In the class one day, 133 uh, patients uh, recovered, uh, 130 discharged, uh, two were uh, tested positive uh, on admission to hospital, three have to be quarantined. We have uh, 54 more staff members uh, tested positive. Uh, so far, we have 25,543 uh, staff members convict, uh, confirmed. Uh, a, a additional four, uh, 44 have returned to duty. Altogether, there were 24,949 uh, 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 returned to duty. As for Kowloon Hospital, the, we, our Kwai Chong Hospital, the, we have uh, five uh, patients uh, tested positive. They have been sent to Qu Queen. Uh, Princess Margaret Hospitals, all the staff members are in stable conditions. The, the patients in the same ward are now close contacts. Uh, we would uh, t conduct tests of all uh, staff matters and uh, patients, and uh, the, the, the wards uh, will be completely cleansed and uh, sanitized. Uh, we have a Q&A session now. Please identify your organization first. Good afternoon. I'm from TVP. I have three questions. So for three days in a row, we have more than 4,000 confirmed test uh, cases. How do you assess the situation now? Is it uh, rising steadily or is it rising uh, very steeply? For the, the Choco and the ICC uh, penny base uh, centers, the, it said that they would have to be tested, uh, PCR tested negative before they can uh, leave, although they have already got two jabs. Is it that uh, they cannot leave even on the sixth day, the test result is negative? As for the variant, the virus variant, those who have uh, been infected will not be uh, need to be quarantined. They can uh, do, do so at home. Well, are you afraid that they would not follow your instructions uh, strictly? Oh, well, as uh, we can see that the number of cases is rising steadily, not as steeply as what we saw in April and May, but uh, we have seen the number doubled in just a matter of weeks. So we are concerned about uh, the uh, case load of HA and the pressure arising from this. So we advise all people to uh, be vaccinated. If you haven't got free jabs, please do so as soon as possible. As for those who have been infected with the ver new variant, uh, the and uh, we don't see any difference in the. Uh, in the conditions of the patients, but of course, uh, it's a uh, more contagious. So, the, in terms of the uh, measures, uh, we would adopt the same uh, tiered uh, uh, arrangement for these uh, patients. For Penny uh, Bay Center, uh, it's uh, run by the CAS. Therefore, I don't have all the information with me, but the HA. Would uh, man a uh, a clinical station there. The uh, standard for discharge is remains the same. If there are any special case, although I don't know the details, I I would suggest that it might be uh, due to other uh, clinical conditions or maybe the previous uh, uh, test results are on. Uh, Unclear or uh, ambiguous, uh, or perhaps uh, they have a special variant uh, involved. Uh, I don't know the details. I'm from Now TV. You talk about a uh, female age 91. Was she infected in the Buddhist hospital? Was it one of the people affected by the uh, Buddhist hospital cluster? 
And uh, yes, you announced yesterday that non-emergency services will be suspended. Some people are concerned that for the non-COVID patients, their situation may be compromised. Uh, are you going to uh, arrange something like the public-private uh, partnership uh, schemes to help them? With regard to the 91 years old female patient, she was admitted to QEH Queen Elizabeth Hospital and, she, and later transferred to uh, the Buddhist Hospital. Uh, she was in the ward uh, affected by the uh, outbreak. Uh, she was tested positively on the 16th of, uh, of July, so I believe uh, she got infected in the hospital. As for the uh, arrangement for hospital beds, uh, we are now in phase two of uh, the uh, arrangement. It means that uh, we can uh, arrange for 2,000 beds to be deployed. We would uh, go for the flexible uh, deployment. So HA would uh, deploy our resources not just to cope with the uh, COVID uh, epidemic, uh, but also we want to preserve our service levels as far as possible. We would uh, rearrange uh, non-emergency uh, surgeries and uh, radiographic uh, uh, treatments so that we can have more manpower to deal with the epidemic and patients. Good afternoon, I'm from Ming Pao. Dr. Lee, you mentioned the female patient Asia 91 who was admitted to the Buddhist hospital. Was the cause of death related to COVID? And also, do you have a number of uh, death cases uh, in that uh, hospital cluster? And then there was a, a, number of, a couple of cases where the patient fainted, or fainted in their homes. Before they were sent to the mall after death, uh, were they tested positive, COVID test positive? And there were some with uh, chronic diseases. And after tested positive, they were not sent to isolation centers. They only uh, visited uh, the uh, designated clinic. So uh, in re what's the arrangement for those with uh, chronic diseases? Would there be cases that you you would not you omit to send them to isolation centers after they have been confirmed to be infected? And there was a a child under the age of three, which is a serious case. Do you have any uh, particulars to share with us? The, the uh, status of vaccination, uh, the, uh, the the medical history, etc. And also for the uh, deployment of more hospital beds for the epidemic, uh, are you going to? How many beds are we going to to be to be uh, arranged like this? Uh, there was an 18-month-old girl admitted to A and E on the 20th of July. Uh, she had a fever and a palpitation. Uh, she required uh, oxygen support and uh, shortness, suffering from shortness of breath. On the 22nd uh, of July, it, uh, st her conditions are uh, stabilized. As for isolation wards, uh, the ut utilization rate is 48% uh, for ICU uh, services, uh, the utilization rate is again 50%. Turning to the 91-year-old female patient. Well, uh, her death uh, was uh, probably not related to COVID because starting from the 21st, uh, she had hypertension and she was confused. Uh, she was transferred to QEH and after brain scan, a scan uh, it was an acute um, hemorrhage in the brain and I probably that was the cause of her death. And we've got two cases, a 93-year-old female and also 65-year-old female who went to A&E Department of Kongwa Hospital and are characters 
Medical Center, respectively. So uh, they were given resuscitation at the A and department, and also RAT uh, conducted both were negative. They were then uh, transferred to uh, public more, and then uh, they did a test on the two cases as well. Now for hospitalization of confirmed cases, we do encourage elderly persons to seek medical consult consultation if they are ill. If uh, the condition is really poor, they can seek help at any department or alternatively, designated clinics is also an option. They can also call our uh, medical uh, support hotline one eight three six one one five. They can also uh, have received tele uh, medical consultation uh, by means of HA Go app. I think uh, these are ways to give appropriate uh, treatment to our elderly persons. Next, speaker is off mic. Not necessarily. Now, if uh, there are carers at home, it all depends on whether there is someone uh, who uh, can take care of the case at home. If need be, they can uh, go to isolation facilities together with their carers. For uh, cases uh, that are rather poor or in case of emergency, they should go to an A and E department to seek assistance. Sometimes elderly persons can deteriorate very quickly. Well, uh, uh, the uh, health condition can uh, deteriorate very quickly, and then uh, family members uh, should be aware and then uh, seek medical help or go to hospital as soon as possible. Since there are no other questions, the press briefing is uh, closed. Thank you.